Welcome to Tag Talk, your source for opinions and discussion on the Nerf hobby and community. I'm Jangular, and with me, as usual, is Walcom. How you doing tonight? Pretty good, buddy. It's been a long time. It has, and there have been plenty of things going on and plenty of things for us to talk about. Today's topic is Dartsoft. Changing the hobby's name and nomenclature and kind of branding from Nerf to Dartsoft. It's something that uh, Make Test Battle, Justin, has done for a few videos now, and I've seen at least one other person rebrand their videos into Dartsoft videos to be kind of separated from Nerf War videos that kind of get pushed more when they're the staged kind of kid battles and stuff like that and aren't representative of our hobby games, which are nothing like that. So it's kind of an attempt, again, also with the whole kind of uh, changes we've been seeing with the children protection stuff and COPPA and all that to kind of just try and differentiate again and show that this is for adults and teens and all ages, really. I think if there was a, a, a an effort to push it, I, I you would need to get. This is where it gets interesting because, like, you would if you still have people like Aaron Esser, like Grant, whatever you think about Aaron Esser, blah blah blah. But if you still have him making Nerf War videos and the way that he makes his stuff, and then you have us making actual Dart Soft again, for the lack of a better term, gameplay videos of act actually playing. It's like there's two sides to this because if I were to say like oh are you interested in dart soft or have you ever heard of dart soft or you should come to the park and play dart soft with us and they're like what the hell is that it's like airsoft but with nerf blasters that's way better that yeah. is way better to tell somebody as opposed to nerf war because if you go on YouTube and type in nerf war you're gonna get like the twin toys and the PDK film and the Aaron Esser and there's you know that's all awesome because that spreads the hobby whether you like it or not but. It also ingrains that kind of like, oh, Nerf War. You get like kids like pretending they're playing Call of Duty in real life. And well, that's where the cringe comes from. And we're already adults most of the time playing with toy blasters. So I can kind of see how it's hard to, I, I personally have this problem a lot when I'm trying to talk to people. It's like what I do, like how do you, I, I modify Nerf blasters for the internet. And then I go to events and play with them. Yeah, and you're like, how how do I word this in a way that doesn't seem like I'm just this weird? I mean, okay, look, I I fully ex I am a weird person. I am a little bit like I, I'm okay with it. I've accepted it. Like I want to do good. If I need to be a little bit weird to do good, then so be it. Uh, but yeah, it can make it hard to kind of share what we enjoy with other people and and show them the fun in just a couple sentences. Um, so I think you're on to something in that it would make certain aspects of sharing easier. Um, yeah, I, it would be way better for me to be able to go like dart soft and they're like, what the hell is dart soft? And I go like, it's airsoft, but with nerf blasters and people would be like, oh, I know what airsoft is, or I can do, it's like airsoft or paintball, but with nerf blasters. Like yeah. if you have that initial term and they don't know what that means, and then they ask for clarification and then you explain it's airsoft or paintball with nerf blasters nerf can be anything because if i go to, if i go get a mom who's you know got a kid and i say go go what who's his what's his favorite nerf blaster and it might be a busby thing it might be a boomco thing it might be a zuru thing it doesn't matter those are nerf blasters what you whether you like it or not the foam dart blaster is a nerf blaster we cannot change that yeah. and i don't think we should but the actual games that we play i think it's a great idea if we change that term just because while it makes it harder on like the internet, the search engine optimization kind of thing to make that easier for us to like get found, it makes like the the one on one engagement or the small group engagement of explaining what's going on that makes that a lot better. And if we can get content creators like not just myself, but if we can get like Drac or anything like that on board to do this kind of stuff, and we could make videos every once in a while talking about dart soft and get that term out there and slowly build that apart from the nerf war thing and then we could also just kind of screw with the search engine the guy having like oh dart soft epic nerf war or something like that and, and that's my the the point i wanted to make as well that you just touched on is that if we did it right and the thumbnails were good 
and we included both, say, Nerf War and Dartsoft or whatever term we we decide on as a community, there could be a slow shift from one to the other. We could make it happen so that it's a Nerf War Dartsoft video, as you mentioned, so that it still shows up in SEO as, you know, a Nerf War video, but people will start to get acclimated to Dartsoft. Okay, yeah, Dartsoft is that thing that they do with like the more gameplay and like high powered stuff or, you know, it, it starts to make that connection and people will start to search that out as well. It wouldn't be an overnight thing by any means. It would be a, like a long haul kind of process, but it could be one of the ways to overcome that obstacle. There is something I want to talk about though, because there is a, a, a slight issue that I'm, I'm, I'm coming into that I want to like, just to put an example, like Foam Pro Tour, mm-hmm. that is a very specific way, much like Blaster Tag Association, of playing a game. And if we, again, go with something similar to dart softing, is dart softing going to encompass things like Foam Pro Tour or Blaster Tag Association? Or is dart softing going to be its own category of games? Like, how do, is it going to be, is dart softing going to be the term we're going to use for things like super stock, ultra stock, and I see level combat, or are we just going to develop that into another thing with the foam pro tour blaster tech association? Because if it's like the latter, then that's going to cause problems. Yeah. I think it's all encompassing. I think it's hobby wide. Like that makes the most sense to me is that this is a hobby rebrand, not just one aspect of the hobby. It's, it's the hobby. Uh, and that could technically work for like HVZ as well, even though that's its own category. Yeah. I mean, there is HVZ in Airsoft. So. Yeah, I, I think it is best served as an all encompassing change. Um, you know, you still talk about Nerf. We still mention Nerf in aspects of it. You know, we're still playing with Nerf blasters, but we don't need the Nerf brand. And as our hobby continues to grow, we will be less and less beholden to Nerf, which is super important uh, because we are. I don't want to say being held back. I actually want to say we're being held back by it. It's in some ways. Yes. In other ways. No. We're being held back in that we are restrained in certain ways, but the reality is Hasbro and Nerf still brings in lots of fresh people to our, our hobby. And until we get to a certain point where our community creators and businesses have their own established uh, market share of blasters and kind of, we grow like I'm talking five, 10 years out kind of stuff, probably closer to 10 years out as we continue to grow as a hobby, like then we won't be as beholden to, you know, nerfs offerings. 